Hello everyone. Today we learn about geometry. So first of all, what is geometry? Geometry is a branch of math that studies the size, shapes, position, angles, and any dimension of things. Now the next question arises: Why do we need to learn about geometry? Does it useful for me, or uh, like why? Why? What is the need to learn about geometry? So. Uh, in present time, you can use it in various things like measurement, uh, like uh, you can say that how much kilometer I walk. So there are so many different different things like measurement or maybe during sports time, uh, whenever you're walking in the nature, there are some angles. So there are different different things which arise in our day to day life activity that we need to learn about. Uh, geometry or in further studies we can use geometry in our architecture in our robotics in our sports engineering so geometry is a very vast subject and uh, today i'm going to tell you about the basics of geometry so let's learn about the basics of geometry let's learn basic of geometry whenever we'll start learning geometry the first things which comes is point what is point point means the dot which we use to do it with pen pencil or sometimes if you use your uh, sharp object so these kind of a dots are called uh, points now the next thing is line segment what is line segment line segment is collection of dots collection of point suppose if i say i have two dots and i have to join these two dots so what we'll do will do like this this means there is a line between this point to this point okay i name this point to a and this point to b so this line is called line segment why because it has one start point one end point and we can measure it and how we write line segment a b we keep this name a b and this one so this means this is a line segment a and b now the third thing is line what is line line if we extend till further 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 i don't know where it will go this one so a line which doesn't have any start point and end point is known as a line we can take out a line segment from a line so this one is line segment i will name this one is p q and we write a line segment as p q this is the way to write a line segment we can take it out a line segment from a line and this is the way we write a line segment this is line this is line segment the difference between both of them is we cannot measure a line but we can measure a line segment and the next uh, difference is a line segment has start point and a end point but a line doesn't have now the third thing what is ray ray means <coughs> a straight line which has start point but not a end point suppose i start a line from here 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 i don't know where it will go so i'll keep an arrow like this this has a start point but doesn't end point so this means ray it is going in a direction i keep this name a and this one b so this is a ray because it's going in a particular direction it has one start point but no end point and how we write ray a b this is the sign we used to write or give a name ab ray this is ab ray now we we'll move further to learn about planes let's learn about planes or 2d shapes so whenever the word planes comes in our mind we always think about the aeroplane but here in mathematics planes means uh, any shapes which has 
length and breadth so whenever we'll talk about planes or 2d shapes uh, this means uh, a figure that has length and breadth but not any uh, depth or height so this is the meaning of planes or 2d shapes now there are few basic shapes which comes in planes or 2D shapes. These are circle, triangle, rectangle, square, uh, quadrilaterals. These are the things which comes under 2D shapes. Now, except circle and oval, all the shapes are called polygons. There is a new word which is polygons. So just keep in mind, except circle and oval, all the shapes are called polygons so now how can we define polygons a polygon is made up three or more than three line segment that do not cross each other suppose i have this line segment i have this line segment i have this line segment i have this line segment. so the definition of polygon whenever three or more line segment meet each other without any cross so this is called polygon. Polygon can be made like this. Polygon can be made like this. Polygon can be made like this. So these are called polygon. Now the next word which comes regular polygon and irregular polygon. So polygons all the sides and vertices doesn't have any similarity like I can this is 4 cm, this is 2 cm, this is 1 cm. This is again one centimeter. This one. so this is this is two centimeter. This is three centimeter. So all the sides has different measurement. These kinds of polygons are called irregular, where sides and vertices are not equal. And what is regular polygon? Regular polygon means where sides are equal. If I take about this one. This is 2 cm, this is 2 cm, this one is 4 cm, this one is 4 cm. We all know this, this is rectangle. So, where <coughs> these two uh, lengths are equal. So, this kind of a polygon is called regular polygon. Now, we will learn about few shapes and their properties. Now, the first shape which comes like rectangle. What is rectangle? Rectangle where two sides are equal. So this side, this side, this side, this side. There are four sides. One, two, three, four. I'll name this A, B, C and D. So rectangle means this AB will be equal to CD. So suppose this is four centimeter. This would be also 4 cm and if this is 5 cm if it is rectangle then this would be also 5 cm so AB is equals to a, uh, CD and BC is equals to AD this is the first or basic properties of rectangle where two sides are equal now what in the shape which we use generally is square square is the shape where all the sides are equal. This one, this one, this one, this one. All the sides are equal. Suppose this one is 4 cm. And the question says that one of the side of a square is 4 cm. Find out the other side. So if it is a square, it means all the sides will be 4 cm. Without any doubt. So this one is the property of square. Third is. Uh, triangle. Triangle is made up of three line segment. This one, this one, this one. There are three triangles. These are called angles. When two sides meet, these are called angles. Now we'll learn uh, completely about the triangle, like about the sides, about the angles, and so many things. But triangle A b c this side because it's a regular triangle we can we consider it as a regular polygon so uh, this one is a b is equals to c d a b is equals to b c is equals to 
एडी हियर आई एम आई एम कंसीडरिंग इट एज ऑल द साइड्स आर इक्वल शेप इज सर्कल सो सर्कल इज ऑल्सो अ टू डी शेप बट एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज नॉट अ पॉलीगन सो इफ आई ड्रॉ अ सर्कल लाइक दिस वॉट बी दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल सो दिस इज कॉल्ड सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल वी पुट अ पॉइंट हियर एंड वील ड्रॉ अ सर्कल दिस इज कॉल्ड सेंटर ऑफ अ सर्कल इफ आई ड्रॉ अ लाइन फ्रॉम सेंटर टू द बाउंड्री ऑफ सर्कल दिस विल कॉल रेडियस दीज आर कॉल्ड रेडियस एंड ऑल ऑफ दैम शुड बी इक्वल ओके नाउ इफ विल ड्रॉ अ लाइन फ्रॉम दिस बाउंड्री टू दिस बाउंड्री and if it is cross the center then this line would call diameter diameter now if i draw a line from boundary till here but it doesn't cross the center of circle it means this is chord this is chord now one more thing if i'll talk about circle if i'll draw a line from one point to another point on the boundary this means arc later all these terms will be useful to find about uh, other things so for the time being period this is the basics of 2d shapes